We visited the Kalahari Trans Frontier Park at the Kutsi area of the Kalahari Game Reserve in the autumn of 2022. As the Ptwira Firen border post was still closed, we used box pits. From box pits there was an excellent road to Tsabong, but after Tsabong the road deteriorated quite quickly. Once you reach the border of the park, the road follows the cut line and becomes quite a sandy track. Most of the tracks in the Mabua Zubi area of the park were in a decent condition. While camping at Leshulwago, we experienced quite a thunderstorm, and the next day there was water in Mabua Zubi Pan. At Mapaya Tutwa, a lioness caught outside the park was being held in an enclosure for rehabilitation. Apparently, she was in a terrible state when she arrived. Park lions came from far and wide to visit her, but not all of them with friendly intent, as we shall see. We tracked this lioness for several kilometers as she left her pride to come and pay a visit. Eventually, she crawled under the fence to get closer to the captive lioness. She then lay in ambush, waiting for the lioness to appear. And when she did, she charged the fence. Luckily, the other lioness was still in an inner enclosure. We then drove to the Swartpan area of the park via Noso. The car access road is not used all that often, and the area is exceptionally game rich as you can see from the tracks on the road. On this road we saw the largest herd of eland we have ever seen, but they were very skittish. The road between the car gate and the Swartpan campsite has not been used in a long time. In fact the gate attendant could not remember when somebody last stayed there. The track is quite overgrown and even dim in places. Despite the use of a seed net, we had to stop very often to clear seeds from the radiator and remove grasses from around the exhaust system. Just look at all those seeds flying over us. But it was all worthwhile as the Swartban is quite spectacular. If you're after solitude and don't want to bump into other travelers, camping at Swartban is definitely for you, as long as you're willing that your car will get scratched. out we followed the cut line along the Namibia border until we reached the border of the park and then followed the cut line back to the car gate. These tracks were in a very good condition. The road north from the car gate passes through a community concession area where you have to buy a self-issue permit. However the community does maintain the track 
and it is in a good condition. We saw large herds of springbok along this track. Most of the roads in Botswana, you have to be wary of domestic animals. The ablutions at the campsites in the Kutsi area are similar to those on the Botswana side of Khalakhadi. The shower and the toilets feature a spiral-like entrance with a bucket shower and a long drop toilet. For privacy, there is a sign that you can hang across the entrance which will tell the lions to keep out while you're busy. Vegetation in Kutsi was quite dense, so the best game viewing was to be had at pans and water holes. These giraffes were drinking at Moreswe. It takes an awfully long time for giraffes to feel safe enough to take a drink. But the best sighting of our trip was wild dogs at Kutsi Waterhole. We spent several hours with them. Once fully awake after a long snooze, they went hunting. They found this Gemsbo cow in a dried up mud hole.
dogs appear to struggle with the uneven surface and the Gimsbok seem to be better able to keep its footing. Notice how the Gimsbok charges when the dog is distracted. In the end, neither side appeared totally committed to the fight and a stalemate was reached. The dogs lost interest and left. If you encourage me by liking and subscribing, I may make more videos in future.